Over the past few days, the social and conventional media have been abuzz with criticisms and differing opinions over plans to dissolve the Students' Assistance Fund and have it as a directorate within the Ministry of Higher Education. The controversies around the issue was bolstered by revelations by AR activist Dr. Job Ampanda, who made public some documents on social media revealing alleged plans by the Minister of Higher Education, Itakanji Murangi, to have a foreign university establishment and accreditation fast-tracked. There are ample institutions in Namibia that are fully owned and managed by Namibians Government funding must prioritize those institutions and they should be given the necessary support in order to develop them into world-class institutions. Resources must be plowed back into the economy. It is common practice for foreign universities, colleges, institutions to come to Namibia, seek funding from government and then proceed to offer courses already available in the country which only results in an influx of graduates into the labor market who have all done similar courses. We find this to be redundant. Although facts around the two issues remain sketchy at the moment, Nansa says it will be more prudent to fix the governance predicaments at NSFF and work towards ensuring the fund is efficient and effective. The organization suspects corrupt practices in the awarding of loans to postgraduate students. Nansos Acting Secretary for Information, Esther Shakela, also took issue with the fact that students' recommendations on the issue of NSFF were apparently ignored and now demands a public explanation of what informed the decision. With regards to Lim Kong Queen, the students are not happy with the Malaysian institution's supposedly reliance on already scarce government funding. Daniel Nadunian, BC News, Vanthook.